You've got a good feeling about this. Over here. There's these farmers in Sombrado Gorge. They're super fans of La Moral. Actually, they're super fans of me. They were part of my fan club when I was on the national team. They tipped us off to this special convoy that always rolls through Shao Pass. We put together a smash and grab attack plan, and I told my super fans to sit tight until they hear the word knuckleball. Nobody knows what this fancy convoy is carrying, but we know it's valuable. Benitez always slams it with crazy security. A hundred soldados. Danny, we need you to hit the convoy. I'm sure you can handle this all by yourself. But if you want some help, my people are pumped and ready to go. I'll keep tabs on the convoy and let you know when it's near the pass. That Don't know about you, but I fucking love nice. hearing convoys. He never sounds the best. Let's grab a right. TV. Not yet. You think I can't do this on my own? We need people to feel like they're part of this fight. They have the RPGs you need along with all the badass shit. And remember, there's no I in team. But there is an I in win. Cool, cool. I guess everyone in El Este can go to the beach while you're overthrowing Castillo alone. I'm kidding, Honron. I'll think about recruiting your super fans. Thank you, Gary. Gracias. Que vuelta. Drop the coconuts. Knuckleball is a go. Finga. I thought this day would never come. We need to piece off Benitez and spread out her forces. Music to my ears, guerrilla. See you at the pass. I'll bring the road spikes. Perfecto. We get to use them.
gold is never going away. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Que hola. Does the word knuckleball mean anything to you? It sure does. You want us at the pass, right? Si. Sí. I'll meet you there. You're the one who saved our people on that cargo ship, no? That's me. My cousin was one of them. Muchas gracias. De nada. Let's go get this convoy. I'll get my mortar. Mortar time, compay! I spotted the convoy. Pinga. They're not even at the pass yet. You might want to wait until they get there. Or not. Set for an ambush at the pass. Knuckleballs to go. I've been waiting for this. Time to show Honro what I can do. I've been waiting to use my rocket launcher. RPG is locked and loaded. Run. I'm at Shao Pass. Cool. I'm keeping an eye on the convoy. I'll let you know when it's close. What should I do in the meantime? Hold the position. Hide. And wait. Waiting is like the most important thing a guerrilla can do. See? Si. Just ready to roll. Why don't you scroll your socials? I don't do socials. Maybe play a game on your phone? I don't do games. What is this convoy? It's coming. What about meditation? Not my thing. You should try. I used to meditate before all my big games. Come on, Danny. Breathe in, nice and slow. No thanks. <sighs> Empty your mind. Visualize the convoy. Imagine yourself floating and blowing it up. Oh, and breathe out. I'm hanging up now. <sighs> Empty your mind. Visualize the convoy. <sighs> Shit. That actually worked. I feel calm as hell.
a good boy. is going to help a montón. I heard you hit that convoy. Si. Home run's heading your way with the cash. Good job, Danny. Any battle we get will go a long way in this fight. Admiral Benitez has increased patrols now. So watch the roads. Okay. Que bola. We need to talk. Would you do me a favor? I am Gilberto Rosario, bachelor, performer, spy master for la revolución. You may have seen my better half on TV, Rosamel. Don't look so surprised. It's amazing what blue makeup and a pair of coconuts can do. The government thinks they're using Rosamel to influence the hearts and minds of Jarans. But Rosamel is the one choosing them. A little dance, a little wink, a lot of rum. And these military generals sing songs that could get their tongues cut out by Castillo. But Rosamel can't be everywhere at once. So I send out my chameleons. They blend in everywhere, become anyone, and they all report to me. My best. Sergio has been working undercover at the stables. He has become very cozy with one Capitan Osvaldo Diaz, a target we've been watching for some time. He has given us the signal to rendezvous. But Dios mío, all my chameleons are in the field right now. Could you meet with Sergio Honey? I don't know what he needs, but I think he's in trouble. And you don't strike me as someone who's afraid of a little trouble. That backpack of yours is fabulosa. Fucking Hugo. Got some intel you could use? What do you got for me? Ever wonder how the soldados get their orders and enlisted? Answer is the radio station at the top of the mountain nearby. They turn that place into a fort. If you walk in, stay out of sight. They'll shoot you there and throw you off the mountain.
revenge of horses and fascists. Hello? Danny. Yeah, Sergio? Shh. Never use my name on the phone. Pinga. I'm pinned down in a stairwell with a hostage, and the ranch is crawling with soldados. I need you to get us out of here. Hold tight. I'm coming. Okay. Watch yourself, Danny. Snipe down all over the water. He's doing bad. You may be surrounded by a thousand eyes, but you need only one. A thousand false voices may scream for your attention, but there is only one voice that will give you the honesty you crave. Mine. Yara has one truth. I can call back on now. And one president to lead us to paradise. Sergio? It's Danny. You can come out. One of our soldiers, the blade, one of our sniper's made to rest on our sacred soil. It is not even. The young king said, the tree of liberty must be refreshed. Healing us from time to time is tolerant. With the blood of the We tolerate those who are different. That is a lie. We tolerate this guy. The only blood I want. Hurry! We need to get our asses to the river! Who's our guest? This is Captain Diaz. He's going to do exactly what I say, when I say it. And if he makes one more move, he calls for help, I'm going to blow his fucking head off. What's so special about this guy? But this guy's military friends took one of ours. So we are making a little trade. And nothing less than the captain will do. Diaz, to the river. Danny, cover the rear. <laughs> So where is this trade taking place? Right now, the less you know, the better. Where are we taking him then? You don't have to know that either. <laughs> Our mutual friend speaks very highly of you. Calls you a chameleon. Talking about the Puerto Castillo's Navy. Next, I'm 
traveling horse shit for the fucking cavalry. I could never go undercover. I'm a terrible actor. Pretended to be one of these things that was easy. Not killing them. Now, dark stuff. Aren't we making a lot of noise by walking in the river? The water will hide our tracks and they will dock. This way they can't follow us. Why me? What? Our mutual friend doesn't let just anyone into our little family. So, what is so special about you? The less you know, the better. <laughs> Fair enough. Thanks, by the way. You can fight me when this is over. I will. Oh, uh, Captain Diaz. Chop the fuck up. Give me that. You had G-Man worried too. Oh, he's never stressed. Now what? Stay safe out there, mijo. We'll take El Capitan to a secondary safe house. Thanks for the backup, Danny. You're okay.
Over we here. need to talk. I'll apologize. Besos, honey. Mwah, mwah. Thanks to you and that magnifica backpack of yours, things are in motion. As you know, the regime captured one of our spies, Felicia. The mamacita used to come to my shows, always gave the best tips, both in money and in hot military goes. She would whisper regime secrets in my ear while stuffing the nero between my coconuts. I can't have them torturing her. I won't. So we need to get a trade going. Felicia or Capitan Diaz. I had beautiful hostage posters of his ugly face printed up. And I want you to slap them on Benitez's even uglier face. You know those billboards along the main road? Once the regime knows we didn't kill him, I'm sure they will want to negotiate. I hope. I hope I'm sure. You'll find the posters at the Fernando local radio station. And give the Capitan a big wet kiss from me while you are there. I'm dedicating Rosa Mel's next performance to you, honey. Hey, Danny, the posters are over there on the table. <laughs> Don't worry about Capitan Diaz here. Uh, please hurry. I can't take his fucking whiny ass with him. Tigre. People are still celebrating quinceañeras in El Este. Ah, see. Sí. Even after Castillo took over, did you know that my second cousin is the best party planner in Yara? I did not. After we liberate El Este, my cousin will be the one starting the party. I promise. Can't tell if Panitas looks better. Or worse. You got it. I have the 
perfect posture to cover up the Admiral's face. Diaz better thank me. I'm making him famous. These should get their attention. I hope they shoot, Clara. The plan worked. The regime has seen our posters of Diaz and are willing to trade. Benitez's giant face will haunt my dreams forever. You and me both. Rendezvous with the others at Basilica de la Virgen. And remember, this is a prisoner swap, honey. Not a gunfight. One wrong move, and they'll execute Felicia for sure. I'll be careful. Gracias, Gilberto. Here, boy. Okay. We have your captain. Let the prisoner walk. We don't take orders from you. But you know, we're sending the prisoner now. <coughs> you better hold to that thing, friend. Stop. <clears throat> Yeah. 
Gilberto, the swap is done. Felicia is safe. Madre de Dios, I could kiss you. Fucking soldados almost blew the whole operation. You're alive, Felicia's alive. That's all I care about. Pobrecita probably needs a tall, stiff drink and a shower. I think we all do. Adios, Gilberto. Come by and see me. Oh, hang on. No. I have another question to ask you. I need to get Sergio out of here. You think he can help Libertad? You got it. Benito is running some no. offshore operations and could use a guerrilla like him. These young areas. They remind me of, well, me, only smaller. And it's going to take a lot more than a basement full of little me's to win this war. The time has come, baby Tigre. We need Carlito, the fifth legendary member of the 67th Revolution, and the toughest motherfucker I ever knew. Soldados would piss their pantalones when they came face to face with him. You know the expression, two birds with one stone? Well, Carlito once shot down two planes with one bullet. He is a national treasure. That was before he retired and went to work in the museum. The regime has put him in a cage to be insulted by filthy true Yaran turistas. His true destiny is on the field of battle. I'll meet you at the museum. Together, we will free Carlito from his prison. Castillo has many bullets, but we will have Carlito, and Carlito only needs one. Going to the museum. I believe everything will be. I need a ride. Keys are in the ignition. Don't hop in, boy. El Tigre, I'm at the museum. So am I. If you want to see photographs of us when we were young and dumb, put your gun away and walk in like a tourista. Castillo en his paraíso. Hola. The museum is free. Sweet. El presidente Castillo.
Is that Diego? Poor kid never had a chance. Ah, what a What took you so long? El Tigre, what are you doing? Are you not worried about getting recognized? Don't worry. I brought markers for autographs. One for me, one for you. That's not what I meant. This museum used to be dedicated to us legends. But Castillo rewrote history to make us look like villains. He even found a way to paint Carlito in a bad light. I wonder what history will say about us. They will say, this was the day when two legends walked into a museum and three walked out. President Castillo means no future for us. In early 1967, the terroristas return, and the tenacious Yaran army delivers them a crushing blow. Defeated, the cowardly terroristas crawl into the dense jungles of El Estes Mountains to lick their wounds like dogs. Such a small island. Enjoying your tour? They call us cowards and dogs, terrorists and assassins. The very things we fought to free Yara from. If Carlito is as tough as you say he is, we will take out Castillo and set their record straight. Oh, don't you worry about Carlito. And if people want to know the true history of Yara, they'll read the diaries of our fallen guerrillas. I'm not paying you that much, weapons. no way. Misguided it's not even worth half that much. They bled just like us, but they would have made us bleed in the surface. How good was it? <laughs> I knew it. Maria is always so good on TV. War can be beautiful. There is something primal in all of us that yearns to fight, to win, to have proven our principles. I will not say whether or not it is right. But I will say it is desired. March 15, 1968. The Los Idos de Marzo Offensive. Santos Espinosa, accompanied by his favorite student traitors. The terroristas Lucky Mama, Lorenzo, Lobo, and El Tigre begin to assassinate key government officials. Despite the offers from the legitimate Castillo government to negotiate, the terroristas march on Esperanza. Gabriel Castillo enact safety measures to protect 
protect all Yaran. But the terroristas continue to create illegal protests and cause violent battles. One agitator, Teresa Luquimama Morena, lit an assault on Concepcion, taking the city and the peaceful Yarans in it as hostages for their political aims. Carlito a fucking tank? Por supuesto. What were you expecting? He's Carlito. And executed Gabriel Castillo, my grandfather, and father to our glorious Señor Presidente, Anton Castillo. They robbed the capital of whatever they chose, including Castillo heirlooms and priceless items from our history. Fortunately, today, most of these items have been restored to us.
Dios, reinforcements. I'm out of here. He just needs a little love. You can fix him. El Tigre and Carlito together again. El Tigre and Carlito together again. Baby Tigre, don't be the driver's seat. This I like. Carlito was attacked. Carlito's the one who does the killing, Baby Tigre. No one can 
So you came! What the fuck is he doing here? I wanted him to see Carlito for himself. <laughs> Mi compay! How many years since you've been down the mountain? Too many. Carlito and I, we have a lot of good memories. Time to make some new ones. You should join us, hermano. War is over. When we are all free. <laughs> hey, come. Come on, it's gonna be good. No, I'm good. Come on. is over when we are all Chorizo, free. Go. Since when did you start quoting Lobo? When I finally yep. saw past my own. Uh. And all that remained was the truth. Uh. Carlito did some renovation. Hey, Danny. Listen up. I hope that anciano can keep up. I need you to go to the Grand Hotel Caballero. It used to be a resort for wealthy turistas, but Benitez converted it into some sort of prison torture hellhole. One of our fighters, Hugo, is being held there. Which means he's got an appointment with the dentist. The regime's best interrogator. If the dentist gets any information out of him, we're fucked. He's got a good heart, but Hugo will crack like a fucking coconut. You need to stop that interrogation, whatever it takes. I already sent a scout to the hotel. She'll help when you get there. And one of Gilberto's people can get you past the guards if you hide in the back of his delivery truck. But you better hurry. The truck is leaving soon from the delivery yards. Benitez can't find out where we are, Danny. Yo, 
You're headed to the Grand Hotel, Caballero. Driving up to the hotel. Oh, shit! You're doing this mission? Hell yeah. I hate dentists. Me too. They say when you're in her chair, you either give up information or your life. Or both. Then I'm going to have to find Hugo quickly. Our scouts are already in position and ready to help. You heard Yelena earlier. That was the voice we needed. Sometimes it's hard to tell if we're winning or losing, you know? We're going to win this thing. I promise you that. Dentists were always late. Not this one. Morale is safe. For now. That's fucking great news, Danny. Oh, and I'm working on a gift for you. Gift? The hotel. I'm taking it. They've tortured their last guerrilla here. You sure you're not La Morale, Danny? I'm just saying it.
<laughs> what do you want the people of Yara to know about the conflict? <laughs> conflict? It's business as usual. Look, in spite of all the rumors going around, there's no war. At least not here in Eastern Yara. Am I right, Admiral? This is not a war. Yeah. The criminals of La Libertad will be stopped. Yeah. They're few, we are many. You hear that? Libertards? This means chica. She means business. And what about the violent gang known as La Moral? Anyone who attacks Yara's military or a business interest is not a true Yaran. My strategy... And I helped her with the strategy. I've got decades of experience. I ran a security firm. The East is safe. Am I right? Right. No prea copas, por nada. That's a cut. I gotta go. Señor Presidente. Admiral, so lovely to hear your voice. If I could ask, how is it that a group of school children in El Este are inflicting the highest number of active duty casualties of this war? Admiral? They, um, they have support from Libertad and the Legends. I've always taken a personal interest in your career. Handpicked you out of the Academy. But make no mistake, there were more experienced, more qualified, and more intelligent officers in line before you. You stood out for one simple reason. Si, señor presidente. You were a woman in uniform. And now you could be the highest ranking woman ever to have her head on a pike. Gracias, señor presidente. Over here. Thanks to you, Benitez's defenses are spread out all across El Este. Now's the perfect time to attack her headquarters. The problem is, we don't know how many soldados are there. So, here's what we're going to do. You, La Moral, the Ancianos, and that tank are going to quietly get on the island. We use that rusty tank to punch holes in the fort, then keep shooting until Benitez is dead. She probably planned for a lot of attack scenarios, but I'm sure pontooning a tank to her island wasn't one of them. Rendezvous with El Tigre at the place I marked on your map. You ready? My baby Tigre. A big battle is on the horizon. I'm just happy everyone is getting along. You did this. Back in 67, it was Santos who could bring the people together. Today, you have that magic. So I'm Santos? No. You are me, the Fist. Now, before every mission, I find that if I imagine myself accomplishing it, I will accomplish it. There. I just imagine us destroying the Nephi. Are we doing this? You kids today, you're so fast with everything. Take in this moment. The world will change in a couple of hours. Hey! <laughs> 
Great. I'm a little busy right now. I'm good. Looks like this way's blocked. I'm gonna go for Benitez. Do it! We'll find another way in and connect with you as soon as we can! Aguerrilla has made it inside! Find them! Kill them! If you're not dealing with the guerrilla inside, then you're killing guerrillas outside!
me that easily, Benitez. Seems to be fucking death around every corner here. Then make sure you're on the other side of those corners. Claro, El Tigre.
do anything to help with that. Do it, Danny. Uh, make sure Yelena can do her typing and Adios, Benitez. Ojo por ojo. ¡Viva la moral! ¡Benitez! Couldn't have done this without you, Danny. That's not a smart move. You should cut her down. Why? It's what that bitch deserves. You killed a soldier. Good for you. Except the thing about soldiers is there's always more of them. Sí, mamá. Same mistakes, new faces. You're just bitter because your revolution came and went and all you got was a fucking mountain. <laughs> Enjoy your trophy. Unitas is private stash. Salud. Enough with the pics. Victory Danny. I thought I was baby Tigre. Nah. Danny Roja will be bigger than El Tigre. You know why? Because your war will fucking end. Viva la moral! Si! Viva la moral! There's something about third world prisons. They make me hard. As you can see, Mr. McKay, everything is under control. Good old shakedown. I love it. Did they do it? Who the fuck cares? <laughs> the Admiral was a lamb. She did not have the stomach needed to deal with the terroristas. I would like you to consider expanding your operations. Look, you Are you a legend? Open the cell. With respect, the President has a strict... Open it! Did you fight with Santos Espinosa? In the 67 Revolution? I drove a tank right through the doors of the Capitolio in the Battle of Esperanza. I was there when we took your grandfather. I watched them die. 
Why did you hate him? The only thing a Castillo has done for Yara is rape our land. And you will do the same thing now. You don't know that. I do! And if you loosen these chains, I will wrap my hands around your little throat and save Yara from another Castillo. <laughs> or you can do your country a favor and kill yourself. <laughs> we should have someone look at that mule. It's not mine. <laughs> Not yet, but I get the feeling I should be. Hell yes! Okay, it's on, Danny. Have a drink with me at Chuchi's. It's a bar west of Concepcion Bay and north of Grand Hotel Caballero. You got it, Yelena. Clara, the Admiral is dead. That's a huge blow to Anton's military. Benitez was the poster child for the new Yara. With the Admiral gone, they're disorganized. Keep hitting them hard, Danny. That was the plan. Take care, Clara. You are with Libertad, right? After this, I'm done. I am tired of convincing all the farmers around here to help Libertad. You guerrillas do nothing for us except put our lives in danger. You love saying that you are fighting for the people, but you don't even know who the people are, do you? Today is the day Libertad returns the favor to me and my farmers, or else we are going to stop helping you, hypocrites. Oite? Go to the Arese, Duarte, and Hinojosa farms in Casa Rivera. Give them a hand with anything they need. Let them know they're not being forgotten. If my farmers are happy, I'm happy, and we will keep helping Libertad. What are you got? Ah! I found you! Anyone help me! Libertad, talk to me. I have a pacemaker, and that electricity is too dangerous for me. Will you go unplug those wires? Si. Let me help. You help me with this, then I'll help Libertad.
Job Libertad. Gracias, gracias. It means a lot to me. Señora Toca, I help Señora Rivera with her electrical system. Is she happy with that? Seems so. Did she want you for more chores? Nope. She just kept thanking me. That sounds like her. Come here. Petra says you could use a hand? See, si. it's my fighting rooster, El Gallo Magnifico. It's not safe for him to be around here. The soldados keep threatening to kill him. Go in my shed and take him away. Give him a safe home. That's it? Senora Toca, I helped the people at Arese Farm. They seem happier now that the rooster will have a new owner. That is what was bothering him? Some people have tiny problems and think it's the end of the world. It is what it is. True. It is what it is. I should call Senora Toca. Senora Toca, I have some bad news about the Inohosa farm. The soldados executed the people here. Who? An older couple and two guerrillas. That's probably their boys. Coño. Their boys lost bragging about being guerrillas. They were drawing too much attention to their parents and well. Okay, what should I do? Nothing. I'll send someone. This is not the first family the soldados executed. I promise you that. Yo sabía que alguien iba a venir. That hijo de puta found the Libertad Field Hospital. The one I'm hiding in my house. Did he call it in? No. 
I don't think so. Is there anything else you need? Me? No. I've got medicine if you need it. You saved my life, and like I told Petra, I will keep helping as long as you guerrillas keep killing soldados. Now, I just need to get rid of this body. Senora Toca, I saved Senor Duarte and took out a nosy soldado that was bothering him. Did they find the field hospital? No. <sighs> That's good. If the soldados find it, they will line us all up and put bullets in our heads. I'll try to put bullets in their heads first. Yeah, yeah. I hear that guerrilla talk all the time. Listen, since you are done with my people, come see me. I need help, and it will only... Thanks, Senora Toca. Over here. My daughter and her idiota boyfriend got themselves arrested. One of my farmhands was with them and says that a new sergeant is heading here to ask me questions. Whenever a new idiota is assigned here, they try to be more aggressive than the last one. Go hide in my ceiling and watch how they play tough. They are all talk. They will threaten me, but I think I can get them to say where they're holding Gloria. If you hear me say the word banana, that means I figured it out. Then you can kill the come mierdas. Go hide in the ceiling. The soldados are coming here soon. <gasps> Vamos, go in the ceiling. No one interrupts us. Check the bedroom. What a dumb. Hola, soy Sargento Sabon. I've been assigned to clean up this municipality. Ha, <laughs> just like the last guy. Good luck with that. I've been told by a reliable source that you know a lot about Libertad. The only thing I know about the guerrillas is that they cause me more trouble than you soldados. I'm sure they do. Whenever they come on my land, I always tell the army. Cut the bullshit. I know your daughter has been collaborating with the guerrillas. I just arrested her and her Libertad boyfriend. What? Gloria? Impossible. Where is she? She's still here in Fernando. She is a collaborator. And so are you. It's this municipality. But what I don't have time to be a collaborator. I need information on any new guerrillas you've seen come through here recently. The name Danny ring a bell? Never heard of that name. Where are the guerrilla caches? Caches? I don't know. I want to see my daughter. Where is she? She's safe for the time being. <sighs> All right. How much do I have to pay you? You can't bribe me. Tell me where the guerrilla's field hospital is. I don't know. Where is Gloria? Once I see her, I'll pay you. Senora Toca. Gloria is at a farm nearby. She will leave it today. Tell the truth, and she'll be alive. Lie, and she will die. It's a farm. All of you farmers but are the which same. One? You love lying to my face. I am not lying. I talked with one of your farmers today. He didn't want to talk. Then, we played Russian roulette. <gasps> Yo mio, I am not collaborating. The last thing he said was, 
Toca is working with Libertad. Then I shot him. I don't work with Libertad. He only lasted one round. Let's try again. Tell me what you know about Libertad. That farmer lied. Who was it? I know nothing. No, 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 no! I confiscated his farm in the name of Yara. Senor Juan Torena put Libertad before his own country. Juan Torena. Don't make the same mistake. Tell me what you know about Libertad. He's lying. He's got bananas. Officer, break to protect you. My daughter is being held at Juan Torena's farm. It is southwest from here. Go! Puede estar cerca. Problem, Senora Toca. Me and my farmers are going to help Libertad from now on. I can promise you that. Gracias. We also have a gift for you. Come by my farm when you can. The ancianos keep talking about their glory days. This party is aging me 30 years. Let's go. We're doing our own thing. We need Honoron. She's at a house on the beach. I'll drive. Let's ride. Follow me. Come here. Funny. I'm not drunk. I calculated my alcohol. 
I'm good to drive. You sure? I'm fine. So, here's why you're really here. I just got off the phone with Castillo. What? He said, if I turn you in, he will release all of the outcasts in El Este. You're joking, right? It's for the greater good, Danny. What? Aren't you ready to sacrifice yourself for the good of Yara? Gone, yo. You're fucking with me. Of course I am. Shit. Might not, Danny. Besides, I give up Lorenzo first. <laughs> Where are we going? First to Honron, then our island. With Benitez dead, it's safe to go back there. You have an island. It was our place to hang out, cook up, drink. I'd go there to study. Hell of a mix. <laughs> Monron and her brother showed it to me. Monron has a brother? Yeah. He and I... We had a thing. So, like I was saying... Yeah. He and I... Coño. Estos ancianos just keep talking. Hey! Let's get this party started! Tres ciudad, come mierdas. <laughs> Horron always fucking cheats. The Admiral is gone. <laughs> you two always go be like this! Oh, yes! Yelena, you suck. Cállate. I was studying while you were playing games. Hey, it's trying that counts. <laughs> what are you, the fucking U.S.? Let's get Danny a trophy for trying. What's next? Is this gonna be party, Jelena, or wiki, Jelena? Fuck off. You getting the grill? You know how I feel about using that thing. Animals have goddamn brains, too. You know dolphins can use tools? Cojone, there was a beautiful second I forgot you were vegan. Can you show Danny where the grill is? Yeah, yeah, you monsters. Danny, grab that. I'll show you where to find meat or fish to cook. Or plant-based food for the good of your soul. I'll show you where to find some good hunting. You just need to point me in the right direction. <sighs> this island reminds me so much of Gerardo. Oh. Oron's brother? Yeah. What happened to him? In the early days of La Moral, Oron and Gerardo were so reckless. The two of them did this stupid smash and grab on a checkpoint and got arrested. I tried to bribe the guards to free them, but they could only get one out. I had to choose. My heart said Picarardo, but Honron is the best guerrilla we have. You picked Honron over your boyfriend? I did. I had a plan for the next day. We were going to break him out, but Benitez executed all the prisoners as punishment for Honron being freed. She doesn't know. Gerardo was thrown up at the fort. Bing. I think about that choice every day. And the truth is, if I had to do it over again, I'd still pick Honron. It's the right call. It's just... 
Why, you know? There's only one person responsible for Gerardo's death. And that's Castillo. Gracias, Daddy. But I was born with an eye for bullshit. In La Revolución, we are all guilty. Just some a bit more than others. I think Libertad might have a bit more faith in humanity. And that's why I'll never join. Look, there's crocodiles and fish on the side of the island. And grab a couple of carrots for our fucking rabbit, on Ron. You got it, Yelena. I'm just going to take a minute alone. It's been a long time since I've been here. Thing on this island shouldn't be too hard. One more agreeable thing. This will fry up nice. Go put this on the fire. Oh. Come on, Chorizo. I'll show you where the grill is. No, it was like a standoff. He had a sniper rifle. I had a sniper rifle. Walk with me. We clocked each other at the same time. Raised our guns and shot him through his skull. I'm getting drunk That's tonight. That's for okay. fucking sure. I hope Anna shows I up. He missed me. We reloaded. See? We hit each other in the arm. Reload again. No. How long is this for? Elena likes you. We all like you. Stuff. You should be joining La Moral. I'm good with Libertad, Oron. You might think she's all talk, but Clara Garcia, she picked me up when I had nothing. Nobody. Wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her. <laughs> that reminds me of this fucking grill. What? It was the early days of La Moral. We were starving after a beautiful day of fighting. We killed a hundred soldados and... Every day you guys kill a hundred soldados. <laughs> Whatever. Over here! The point is, we came here to celebrate. Everybody's throwing meat on the grill and... I asked them to make room for my veggies. And everyone starts making fun of my veganness. I'm a fun drunk, okay? But if I hear, eat some fucking arroz con puerco honrón one too many times, I kind of lose my shit. Just a bit. I will remember that for later. <laughs> well, you've been warned. So, I'm pissed. My big brother, Gerardo, sees people picking on me, and he fucking snaps. 
grabs the grill with his bare hands, hot as shit, meat still cooking, and chucks it into the ocean. Everybody was gonna kill me. Gerardo steps up, the way a good big brother does. <laughs> he always had my back when no one else did. He died like a week after that. I fucking miss him. I'm sorry, Horon. But I'm sure he's happy we took down Benitez. <laughs> Gerardo wishes he was at this party, for sure. He'd always say, We're not here to feel like shit. We're here to erase the past and drink to our future. And to eat our veggies, right? <laughs> exactly, Danny. The grill's over there. Watch out for the sharks. Hola. Playtime's over, Danny. Oh, shit. You all just left me? You're the one who kicked us off our island. Um, I do not remember that. That's the least of our problems. I got some shit news. Our base was compromised last night. <sighs> Repinga. How fucked are we? Gilberto's chameleons got word ahead of time. They were able to clean everything out before the soldados raided the place. Don't go back there. Where are you setting up shop? Thanks to you, at the Grand Hotel Caballero. Swing by soon. McKay and Castillo are already fortifying their poison production operations in La Jolla. You got it. <laughs> 